What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. Today, we will be going over my custom water cool PC, Azazel, in all her glory. So, before we actually get into the components, let me just let you guys know that this is going to be a three-part video. This PC and I have been on a crazy long journey together. With mod after mod, upgrade after upgrade, she actually started as an ASUS X99 Deluxe inside a Corsair 900D and then moved her way up to the beauty that she is today. However, our journey is not complete yet and I will get that into that a little bit more at the end of the video. Now, this PC is heavily overkill even for what I use her for. I render videos while I game, but for the most part, this PC is more for the enthusiast due to all of the aesthetics. With that said, for the case, we have a black Case Labs SMA8A revision. This is an enthusiast case specifically for modders. Mine came with a glass front panel, and you will not find this case anywhere in stores or cheap. Case Labs went out of business back in late 2018 and will be remembered in our memories. Unfortunately, finding this case will be expensive. And as of this video, can run you around $1,500 with pre-drilled holes inside the case on eBay. So good luck finding a seller that has one without pre-drilled holes that won't charge you a kidney for it. As for the CPU, I have an AMD Threadripper 1920X inside an ASUS Zenith Extreme motherboard. For the RAM, we are going for a 32GB kick of G-Skill Trident Z RGB at 3200MHz. The OS, which is Windows 10 Pro, is on two 512GB Samsung 960 Pro NVMe SSDs, and that is actually in RAID 0. I also have four 4 terabyte Seagate Enterprise hard drives that spin at 7200 RPM with a 128 megabyte of cache and that's actually in RAID 10 for storage. For the graphics cards, I'm running two ASUS GTX 1080 Ti Founders Editions in SLI with an ASUS ROG High Bandwidth Bridge. The power supply is a Corsair AX1200i which is more than enough to power this entire system and then some. There are 14, yes, 14 Corsair LL120 RGB fans. These are, well, yeah, you guessed it, 120 millimeter fans. Four are located on the top and front bottom, one in the back of the case, three in the front of the case, and two in the bottom back. These fans are set up as a push and pull configuration, not push pull which means that some fans are strictly pushing air into the case while other fans are pulling air out of the case. They are all hooked up to two Corsair Commander Pros. As for all of the water cooling parts, we have all EK water block parts. This consists of an ASUS X399 RGB monoblock for the CPU, two water blocks for the GPUs, plus their respectable backplates, which are black, two EK D5 PWM pumps, with brackets controlling both of the two different water paths, two EK Res X3 250 reservoirs, both with white caps, as well as two EK SE 480 radiators. In a case this size, yes, thicker rads would be better, but these are the slim quad rads and their sleek design helps with the clean look for aesthetics. And there is also an EK triple parallel terminal connecting the GPUs. As for the liquid that is actually going to go inside the loops, I will be using two different graphic effects from UFL Technologies in conjunction with distilled water. All of the fittings and the PETG tubing are all bits power, however, the G and one quarter pass-throughs that go inside the case are from EK. There is a total of 69 bits power fittings inside this system. 71 if I go ahead and attach the barb fittings in order to drain the two loops. As for peripherals, I am using a Corsair K95 RGB Platinum with a Corsair Dark Core RGB SE mouse. And all of my cables for this system are custom cables from Cable Mods. Now, let's get back to that journey I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Given that we are now in the 3000 series of Threadripper, the plan is to get a Threadripper 3970X. 
If you don't know, it is a 32 core, 64 thread CPU. And I will be pairing this CPU with two NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti's whenever they are released. Which, if I'm correct, if NVIDIA continues with the same schedule, should be later on this year. But even then, it'll probably be a few years before that happens. Now, part two of this video will be me putting everything together, and then part three of the video will be the finished product, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions about the build, whether it be about components, why I'm using a certain type of RAID or anything, go ahead and ask in the comment section below and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Also, let me know what you guys actually think about the components that I'm actually using inside this build or if you would actually change something or use a different component. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny community for LFG on all platforms, content creators, and you can reach me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys next time.